In this video, we are going to show you a couple of treatment options for patients with excessive force closure in sacroiliac joint pain. Enroll in our online course now. Link is in the video description. Hi and welcome to PhysioTutors. In recent videos, we've talked about changes in motor control due to pain. In low back pain, there seem to be two distinct phenotypes at both ends of the spectrum. A tight control pattern with excessive co-contraction and a loose control type with muscle inhibition. It seems that similar phenotypes might exist for the pelvis, namely a subgroup with reduced and a subgroup with excessive force closure. Instead of specific stabilization exercises to increase force closure of the sacroiliac joint, the treatment approach for patients with excessive force closure is quite the opposite. Here are a couple of ideas. Be aware that excessive co-contraction can be the result of false illness beliefs that a patient's pelvis is displaced or unstable. It's important to address these beliefs through advice and reassurance during your treatment as well. As the pelvis and the lumbar spine are obviously connected, patients might also present with motor control deficits in the lumbar spine. Have a look at our video on similar exercises but then more specific to the lumbar area. Alright, this was our video on different treatment options for patients with sacroiliac joint pain and excessive force closure. If you would like to get some inspiration on how to treat patients from each of these categories, have a look at our playlist on sacroiliac joint pain. This video and so much more can be found on our newly released online course on physiotherapy of the spine on our website study.physiotutors.com. As always, thanks a lot for watching, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.